So guys, what I want to cover for you today is how you sell a 28 day offer within your fitness business. You can actually use this for a 21 day offer, a six week, a eight week offer, a 12 week, whatever you want to use. Um, we just used a 28 day offer within our fitness business to be able to scale from 27 members all the way up to 1200. The reason why we use that, it was a really great testing barrier for the client to get a good look at what we do to see whether they're going to be a good fit for the long term. And also for us to be able to self liquidate our ad spend. What that means is spend a thousand dollars in our ads, get a thousand or more back on a weekly, monthly, fortnightly basis. And then also as well, we're able to give what we call people results in advance. So when you're giving people results in advance, it's pre-framing a longer term sale. That works really, really well for us. Whatever offer that you're running, this process and framework will work incredibly well so that you can close more sales, so that you can grow your fitness business and so that you can help more people. So guys, the first thing that you have to do is actually decide how you sell. And what I mean by decide how you sell is you've really got two main options. One, you can sell over the phone or via Zoom, something like that. And second, you can sell via face-to-face -face consultation. Whatever way you choose, you can be absolutely world-class and scale your fitness business. There's pros and cons of each way. Within my facilities, we always sold face-to-face, -face, um, which a lot of like bricks and mortar facilities do uh, because you have a really high conversion rate when people come in and meet you face-to-face. -face. Or you can sell over the phone or via Zoom, which became really common during all the craziness over the last couple of years. We have lots of members in the inner circle who are absolutely crushed it with phone sales or Zoom sales. Whatever way you want to go about it, you just want to pick one and stick to it, guys. That is absolutely imperative, right? When you're wanting to innovate these sales systems and improve, doing a hybrid based selling, unless you're at that 500 to a million dollar mark a year in annual revenue, it's just going to cause you more problems than it will actual good things for your business. Now, the next process that you want to have dialed in is actually getting your consults to attend. So you've obviously got your marketing, getting them to come in, and then you've got them to actually book in for the consult. And the just the best advice I could give you for getting your consults to attend is one, make them excited to attend that you know their goals, that you've sent them a couple of testimonials and got them really hyped up and excited because they're going to be breaking their everyday patterns to come in and visit you or to jump on a phone call with you. So that means they've got to have some belief that you can solve a problem that they're having. And the next one is just getting double confirmation that they're going to attend, right? You want to make sure that when they make the booking, that you have a confirmation that it's loaded in their diary, that they, you know, know how to attend the consultation. And then 24 hours, you want to double confirm that they are going to attend. And running those two things together will increase your show rate within your consultations. Now, when the consultation actually attends, and this is how we actually sell the 28 day offer, is you want to make sure that you have a script and a process that you follow. A little bit like a training program. What you don't want to do is just absolutely wing it, right? where you're just kind of running them through some like willy nilly little sales process, right? That gets you absolutely nowhere with repeatability. You'll need to have a face-to-face -face consultation script or a phone or Zoom consultation script. And they are slightly a bit different because when you're meeting someone face-to-face, -face, you can't just have like a seven page script in front of you. You look like an absolute idiot, right? So it's a little bit more like a prescriptive process where you're writing down their answers, kind of like an intake form as such, where when you're like selling over the phone or via Zoom, you're actually able to have your script up where you're kind of reading it a little bit different. But you want to make sure that you have that script and that process, right? So you're asking them the right questions. Couple of key questions that are going to be in any fitness script, right? Where do they want to go? What are their goals? They might have one, two or three goals. Which goal is most important to them? When would they like to reach that goal? What have they tried in the past? And then why is it really important to them? Now, there's going to be some other questions in there around finances, spouse and things like that that I won't go into today, but they're just a couple of basics that you must have within this script. Now, the next one that you want to make sure you're using in a 28 day off or any like low barrier entry, which is really common in fitness is actually the silent sale process. And that's where you very seamlessly explain what's going to happen after the 28 day offer. So just say, for example, our 28 day challenge was $199. Okay. So what would explain at the end, but awesome, Jimmy, mate, can't wait to see you lose this two and a half kilos over the next 20 
28 days. What actually happens after the 28 days is you auto roll into our 24 week body transformation program, which is just $65 per week. Look, if you don't wanna continue on um, at any time during the 28 days, please just give me an email, insert your email, and then we'll be able to stop your payments. I'll just give you the form now to fill out and they'll fill out their direct debits or you're getting their payment over the phone. And then you're already explaining what happens after. So then you've wrapped up the sale, you've got the $199 or whatever your pricing offer is, and then you've pre-framed your 24 week signature system program, which is what's going to happen after, right? Then what you can do, because you've wrapped up that payment, you're able to set up their initial payment for 199, their auto payment coming out in four weeks. And then what you're able to do is just focus on getting them an amazing result during their trial, making sure that they attend three or more times per week and that they become a part of your community and they see their future with your fitness business. And then finally, guys, once you've kind of wrapped up that sale, you're feeling pretty good, you've got your money, you've you know um, processed all that, is you wanna make sure that you limit buyer's remorse. And what I mean by limiting buyer's remorse is to make sure that the next steps are very clear and concise for the customer so they don't get overwhelmed and you don't get that message, hey, Jimmy, good chatting the other day, you know, it doesn't quite work with this 28 day offer. I don't want to get started. That's the worst feeling. So there's a couple of things that you really need to focus on. One, it's a really good idea, guys, to send them a message five, 10, 30 minutes, couple of hours after their consultation and say how excited you are to help them achieve their goals. Really, really important that you don't miss that step. Then you wanna make sure that they're booked in for their first exercise session within 48 hours, right? So especially if you have a face-to-face -face location, you wanna make sure that they're coming in and training as quickly as possible. Then in your welcome email, you wanna make sure that you're covering all the logistics that they need to get started that are nice and simple. They might have to join your Facebook group. You might explain like how they contact you. You might give them like a basic meal plan to follow, but you really want to surprise and delight them with how simple it is to get started because they're about to embark on a fitness journey that isn't easy. Losing 10, 15, 20 kilos might be easy for you, but guys, it is not easy for them. So we want to keep it as simple as possible. Now, if you're handing over a process to like a, another coach who's looking after them is make sure that they introduce themselves very, very quickly and seamlessly. And then don't miss some of the basics, guys, where you're making sure that you know whose person, whose first class it is, and you're really introducing them. You're making them feel welcome to the community. You might even buddy them up with someone who's been like an OG member within your facility, right? So they can run them through and make sure that they have an absolute amazing experience. So guys, that's a very, very basic five-step framework of how you're able to sell your 28-day offer, how you're able to pre-frame your 24 week signature system ongoing and how you're able to make sure that you don't get any buyer's remorse within your programs. As always, I hope you got a little bit of value from today. If you guys have absolutely any questions, feel free to reach out to me on social media anytime.